Welcome back to our daily news update, bringing you the latest headlines from around the world, now let's begin. Tom Cruise Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning takes 235 million first five days. About $80 million of Dead Reckoning box office sales were domestic data. Box office data has come in for the first five days since Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 debuted to moviegoers. The Christopher McQuarrie-directed film bringing actor Tom Cruise back as spy Ethan Hunt for the seventh time saw a global box office gross of $235 million in the five-day time span from July 12 to Sunday. According to data from IMDb site Box Office Mojo, that figure includes roughly $80 million that reportedly came from domestic ticket sales and $155 million from international. Paramount Pictures had forecast ahead of its release that Dead Reckoning Part 1 would bring in at least $250 million in five days. Tom Cruise attends the UK premiere of Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 at Odeon Lux Leicester Square on June 22, 2023, in London. Gareth Cattermole, Getty Images for Paramount Pictures, Getty Images, domestically. The total amount that Dead Reckoning Part 1 made during its opening July 14-16 weekend was an estimated $56.2 million, box office mojo found. Data from the site indicated the spy movie did the best out of those three days on Saturday, generating an estimated $21.4 million in the US and Canada. Comscar reported that three-day domestic gross landed at first place for the weekend. Other movies in the top five for the domestic weekend included Sound of Freedom at $27 million, Insidious, The Red Door at $13 million, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny at $12 million, and Elemental at $8.7 million, according to Comscar. Elemental from Disney has been out the longest of the five, garnering a total of nearly $311.7 million worldwide since mid-June, the media analytics company found. That data comes as the box office during this summer has been slower compared to the prior year's, according to reports. We have worked on this film for years and it's finally in theaters. Cruz tweeted about Dead Reckoning Part 1 the day after its release. We hope you love it as much as we loved making it for you. Thank you for continuing to support the Mission Impossible films. As of late last month, the prior six movies in the Mission Impossible series have churned out $3.57 billion in lifetime box office grosses, IMDb previously told Fox Business. For only domestic box offices, the company said it was $1.55 billion. Tom Cruise and Haley Atwell are shown during the filming of Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 on October 6, 2020, in Rome. Alberto Pizzoli, AFP via Getty Images, Getty Images. Mission Impossible Fallout did the largest worldwide gross of the six preceding films in the franchise, totaling about $791.1 million, according to Box Office Mojo. Its domestic box office for its opening weekend came in at $61.2 million. The follow-up to the latest Mission Impossible movie, Dead Reckoning Part 2, is still in the works, with its anticipated release date falling next year. According to reports, that film will likely feature numerous stunts like Dead Reckoning Part 1, which videos posted by Paramount Pictures showed a fight on the top of a train as it was moving and a jump off a cliff on a motorcycle. Subscribe to my YouTube news channel now. Providing accurate and reliable information on the latest hot events. Join the community for exchanging opinions and learning from each other. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss out on the latest videos. Let's explore the world of information together.